Yo guys, what's up? Gimpsor here, and today I'm coming at you with some news. Necromancer beta test is down. It's over with, so Blizzard is happy with where it's at. I'll read you something from the forums here. It says, uh, let's see here. The Necromancer beta, beta has now ended. We want to take a moment to thank all of you for your honest, detailed feedback provided throughout the course of the beta. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for being part of bringing the next Diablo 3 class to life. We'll leave the forums open until the end of this week, which is June 23rd, in case you wish to archive anything. After that, we'll be closing them down. Thanks again, and we'll see you in Sanctuary. All right, guys, so Necromancer is coming, and we have a release date. We have a price point. And I'm going to go over some stuff for Season 11 for you and just give you a rundown of what's coming. All right, so Necromancer will be available June 27th and will come at a price point of $50. No, I'm kidding. The price point is going to be $14.99. Um, so I don't know if that's higher or lower than what most people were thinking. I was honestly thinking somewhere around $9.99. But $14.99, you know, five bucks more, I, I don't see too much wrong with it. Um, when purchasing the Necromancer, though, let's go over what all you will obtain. So the Necromancer pack will contain the following. You will get a banner, a sigil, an accent, a new portrait for the Necromancer, and um, a Bloodmaster pennant. You will get new wings, uh, which are called Wings of the Crypt Guardian. You will get a half-formed golem that is a pet, and you will also receive two additional stash tabs and two character slots. Um, as far as I'm aware, though, this is only on PC. You will not get the stash tabs and character slots on Xbone and PS4. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure with that. Um, with that being said, we do have a Season 10 end date, which was announced a little bit ago and a Season 11 start date. With Season 10 end date, uh, it will end in North America on Friday, June 23rd at 5 p.m. Europe, Friday, June 23rd at 5 p.m. CEST. Asia, Friday, June 23rd at 5 p.m. KST. Now they're doing something a little bit wonky here. We're going for a Season 11 start date of july 20th so that's almost a full month in between season 10 end and season 11 start i think the reason they're doing this they want to give necromancer some time to be played since like i said it's going to be available the 20 from june 27th and then uh, see season 11 is not starting until july 20th so you've got just under a month there of some playing i think they want it to go live have some time for people to play it make sure there's no bugs and stuff like that with that being said, here is the Season 11 start dates and times. North America, Thursday, July 20th at 5 p.m. Pacific. Europe, Thursday, July 20th at 5 p.m. CEST. And Asia, Thursday, July 20th at 5 p.m. KST. They're saying here in a note that Season 11 will begin on a Thursday to ensure there is adequate time to respond to potential issues with seasons before the weekend begins. I'm not too sure why they're doing this especially with the time that's allotted in between season 10 and season 11 and especially with the uh, necromancer becoming available the 27th and then season 11 not starting until july 20th i, I don't know uh, I, i'm sure this is going to aggravate some people because everyone's used to seasons dropping on a friday and you know you you, you have the weekend to play so some people are going to be upset that others are going to have an advantage starting on thursday night uh, and, and say they don't work on Friday. With that being said, though, it's only one day, and one day in the grand scheme of things isn't that big. It's just going to be an issue for those people that want to get in there and push and just go hardcore right off the bat. Um, other than that, though, I don't see it being a big deal. Uh, nextly here, uh, with patch 2.6 and the Necromancer release, we are bring or they are bringing challenge rifts. Challenge Rifts are weekly and are an exact copy of a previously completed Greater Rift. They select and snapshot a character from the leaderboards, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and it, it is random. So their gear, Paragon, and skills will be the exact same for everyone. So everyone will be competing on the same playing field. Um, so this means the Rift, just like the gear and Paragon, will stay the exact same in the same layout every time you attempt it. 
same mobs, same pylon locations, etc. So your goal is to beat the original player's time. If you successfully beat the player's time, you will be awarded with a week we weekly satchel that contains bounty mats, crafting materials, and blood shards. And uh, if I remember correctly, the items within the satchel are the same amount that you would obtain from completing a T11 bounty, or all of them together. Uh, they are saying on here that challenge rifts will ro rotate every Monday. So once a week, or you know, every week, you will get something fresh to try. Uh, with that being said, I'm not sure if they're going to adjust any more on that, uh, but that's what they have in mind right now. Um, I wish that since it's a, a once a week thing getting the satchel, that it would contain more materials, but right now that's what they have it at, is basically the equivalent of completing T11 bounties. Uh, let's move on here to the Season 11 starting sets, uh, which you get from your Hedrick's Gift. Barbarian is getting Wrath of the Wastes. Crusader is getting Roland's Legacy. Demon Hunter is getting Unhallowed Essence. Monk is getting Raymond of a Thousand Storms. Necromancer is getting Bones of Rathma, which is the set that you saw me running in the, uh, the previous videos from uh, my PTR testing. Witch Doctor is getting Helltooth Harness. And Wizard is getting Talrasha's Elements. All right. On top of that, conquests for Season 11 are as follows. Avarice, which you complete a 5 million gold, or I'm sorry, 50 million gold streak while outside of the vault and in the inner sanctum. There's several guides on this. I will try to put one up, um, you know, before the season starts. But if I don't, there are several YouTube guides. Just look up Everest uh, Conquest, um, and you will find tons of videos on that. It's very easy to complete. Speed Demon, complete a Nephilim Rift at max level on Torment 10 within two minutes. This is something uh, most players can achieve within the first week or so. So that and the first one I mentioned, Avarice, are going to be two fairly easy conquests to do if you just follow a simple tutorial on Avarice. And then, like I said, within a week, you'll have the gear to do Speed Demon in no time. Uh, boss mode, this one can be a little tricky. Uh, I usually attempt this one about, you know, a couple weeks into the season. Uh, all it is is kill the following bosses at max level on Torment 10 within 20 minutes of the start of the game. It's basically, if you go to every act here, let me open up a map. Or my game's going to take forever to load. <laughs> all right. So basically all that conquest is, is um, if you will notice here, all these little here, these little boss em emblems on each uh, each act, you need to kill all of them. And if you're in a group with people, you need to make sure everyone is there for each boss kill or they won't get credit for it. But I find doing this solo is, is, is pretty simple once you get the gear and you have a class with highly with fairly decent mobility. I do it on my monk every season. People do it on wizard fairly easily, demon hunter. Most classes can complete this fairly quickly and fairly easily once you get the gear. Um, so basically, you have to kill all of them within 20 minutes of the start of the game. Divinity, um, this would be another one that's simple in my opinion, but might not be for other players. It just depends on how much time you have to dedicate to the game, which is reaching Greater Rift set level 75 solo. Like I said, this one isn't too bad for the majority of players, but if you're a newcomer, you might want to stick to the other ones. But all in all, so far, Conquest this season, or for Season 11, aren't going to be too bad. The last one we have here, Masters of the Universe. This is a Conquest that I never do because it has to do with set dungeons, and I absolutely hate them. But Masters of the Universe here is Master 8 of the following set dungeons. There's a list of those online. I do not care for set dungeons at all, so I mean that that's something. If that's something you're into, go for it. But I don't feel like making several classes and going and doing set dungeons for them. Um, with that being said, though, guys, um, that's basically a wrap up. I know I wish there was more I, I could bring to you that Blizzard would be doing, but at least we're getting something here. Um, and with that being said, I have a feeling. Um, once Necromancer is released, uh, I have a feeling we're going to pretty much go into a maintenance mode here with D3. Uh, I was watching a video that Riker posted. Um, uh, it's been about a week ago now, I think. And uh, they've already, basically the signs are there that 
they're working on the next Diablo game, which it's more than likely D4. They've got all the uh, the job postings out there for they've got basically the structure laid, and now they're getting people to come in and start going to Pound Town on the next game. So. With that being said, I think um, a lot of the focus on D3 is going to be out now. It's going to be maintenance mode. There's not going to be any more classes or anything like that. They may surprise us like they did with the Necromancer, but I highly doubt it. The Necromancer, if I remember correctly, had been on the back burner and already had already been kind of started over a year ago. So it was just something they revisited and brought back to us um, because, like I said, it was simply sitting on the back burner. So with that being said, guys, maintenance mode after this, um, seasons are, are going to probably, you know, they're going to continue just like they do in D2 ladders as well. Um, but with that being said, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post in the video or in the comments section below. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And uh, if it helps you, please subscribe. And uh, you can always check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash gimpsorgaming. Uh, Twitter is twitter.com slash gimpsorgaming. And uh, if you search, uh, I have several builds on Diablo fans, which I will keep updated for Season 11. Uh, just simply uh, go to Diablo fans and search for Gimpsor Gaming there. And as always, guys, I greatly appreciate all the support. You guys have made my Necromancer video well over 200,000 views now. You guys are freaking awesome for that. You know, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, thanks for sticking with me here uh, and being awesome fans. So until the next video, guys, peace. And I hope to see you in Sanctuary in Season 11. Later, guys.